Are you getting ready to host a Zoom meeting, an event in Zoom meeting, and you're curious about how to enable or disable the chat? Well, today I'm gonna walk you through exactly how to do that in Zoom and talk about some of the reasons why you might wanna be able to do this feature. So stick around. Before we jump into it, I do wanna remind you to like, subscribe, turn on that little notification bell so you get notified every single Monday when I drop new videos. I talk all about Zoom tips, virtual event tips, event production, and running your own business. And if you want more free content, wherever you listen to podcasts, you can follow the Better Events Podcast. I co-host it with Mary Davidson, a fellow event pro, and we share all the tips about virtual events, event planning, event production, and also running our own business. So give it a listen. But anyway, let's get back into it. Before I open Zoom, I do wanna remind you that these are functions that you can only do if you are the host of the meeting or if you are the co-host. And I have a whole video all about how you can make someone a co-host. I will link to that above, but you can only disable or enable the chat if you are a Zoom host or a co-host. You will not see these controls if you are just an attendee in somebody else's Zoom meeting. All right, so I'm here in Zoom meeting and I'm gonna go down and I'm gonna click that little chat icon. And now here with the chat icon, you can see down in the bottom right, it says to everyone in the meeting. I'm the only person in the meeting, so I won't have any options of being able to one-to-one -one message anyone. But you do see here, there should be three dots to the right. So if you click those, it'll have you say, participant can chat with no one, hosts and co-hosts, everyone, and everyone and anyone directly. So these are the four options. Let's talk through this. So to turn off the chat, you would have this where it says participant can chat with no one. So if I was a participant, I wouldn't even see the chat option. It would no longer appear down here next to my share screen button. It would just not appear at all. We've all been in those Zoom meetings. There is no chat enabled. This is really helpful to have no chat if you are doing a press conference maybe and it's not meant to be a two-way conversation. It's just one way, a speaker, and they're off. This is also great if you want to disable it so it doesn't take away from your what you're saying and then you can open the chat during the live Q&A later. If you have it where a participant can chat with the host and co-host only, this is similar in Zoom webinar where they're then only able to talk to the panelists. So I am the host of my meeting, so I could turn that on if I only want people to be able to chat directly to me. All right, so there's your three options when you click the no dots. You have no one, you have host and co-host, you have everyone, and then the everyone and anyone directly, what that means is that allows private one-to-one -one messages. So if you just do everyone, that means everyone can see the chat and a regular participant cannot just start messaging their friend privately. I often, if I'm gonna have my chat turned on, I will be honest, I'll probably just say everyone and anyone directly. I don't normally mind the one-to-one -one chats, but it is really helpful to think through the reasons behind why you would want the chat on or off. And so let's just say, hi everyone, I'm chatting here. And as the host, I can either, also I have three dots here, um, I can copy the chat, you can make it pop out, which is nice. But at any time I can say, participant can chat with no one. Um, I do like this little pop-up now that Zoom does where everyone can see and save your messages with anyone. Um, and then it does give you the caveat, and this is true as an event host, if you do have it turned on where people can chat with everyone and anyone directly, and you click save chat, it's a Zoom privacy thing, you will only be saving the public chat. So the chat that people sent to everyone. There is no way currently as a host to save private messages. I personally don't mind this. My only thing is if your directions for your moderator for your event was to say, hey, send me questions privately, that moderator would then need to personally save the chat on their device for it to save their personal direct messages. Me as a host, I would not be able to see those. So again, positives and negatives, because if you are in a meeting and you're messaging someone privately, it's good to know that those messages will stay private. But if you're the event host who's trying to capture everything that people are sending, just from an engagement perspective, know that you will not be able to see any of the private one-to-one -one messages. So let's actually chat through why you would want to have this function. What I liked, I, I gave some examples earlier, but just talking through, like if you were hosting a webinar and maybe you have a Q&A section at the end, but you don't want people to be distracted with chat messages going on during your event, you can disable the chat for the first portion of your event. And when it comes to the open Q&A section, you can then open it up. My big caveat with that is it is hard to capture people's questions that they might've had in the moment if there is no chat function enabled. 
I like kind of having a chat in the background or a Q&A if you're using Zoom webinar where people can in the moment as they think of a question, drop it in the chat or private message it to you, but then you can get to it when you want. So if you have a set Q&A period, putting it there. My advocate, why I would advocate for a client not using a chat at all and disabling it, people can't chat with anyone, would again be if it's proprietary information, privacy is an issue, or it's really meant to be more of a one-way talking channel where I am just talking to the audience and I don't wanna hear any live feedback. Uh, this could be a press conference, this could be a, a lecture of some form where you just really don't want the chat to be a thing. So that's where you can turn it off. My biggest thing of why I like to show people how to turn the chat on and off is it is a great security feature. Since it's nice to have the chat in most cases where you would like people to be talking, but if someone starts going off and being inappropriate, you can either remove them from the meeting or you can disable the chat altogether. I have found with some speakers, they love the chat and getting that kind of back, you know, background stream of consciousness from their attendees. And I've also had some other speakers who find it super distracting. So as an event host, it's helpful to know where you can turn it on and turn it off. You can also enable it in your backend settings in Zoom, but you really do, I, this is like on my pre-event checklist, is always to just triple check that I have the right settings here in the chat because there is nothing more uncomfortable than a speaker saying, drop your questions in the chat and the chat's not enabled. So if you are hosting an event on Zoom, I would put this in your list of kind of before you open doors, before you let people into your meeting of making sure that you have it, en it enabled. But I also do love that it is something that I can change on the fly if I have to, to adjust because we all know, events you can plan them to go one way and then something happens and so it's a that's a really good resource where you can just turn it on and off for attendees well hopefully you learned a little bit about how to enable your chat in zoom meeting and as always i'm logan clements freelance event producer and this has been another installment of my favorite tips and tricks when it comes to event planning and running your own business i drop new videos every single monday so give me a follow or subscribe if you haven't already and i'll talk to you guys again next week bye